Hi, my name is Steve Hayes. I'm the founder and president of All Safe Industries, a veteran-owned business providing safety equipment to first responders and industry. And today I'm going to do a box opening video on the rapid deployment kit from Ray Systems by Honeywell. The RDK includes four area rays, either plus or pro, with all the accessories you need to launch a wireless gas detection system. Let me show you what you get in the kit. First of all, you get a large Pelican case with everything you need uh, to support four instruments. And all four instruments are stored inside the kit, and each one has a pass-through charging lead here. So when you pull the meter out in the, initially, you want to make sure to be careful and unplug that charging lead as you deploy these. And then as you deploy each one, you need to pick up two more accessories out of the kit for each instrument. So the first is the RayNet sensor. The RayNet sensor allows the area array to provide temperature, relative humidity, wind speed, and wind direction. That data is going to allow you to do plume modeling right inside ProRay Guardian. So the thing you want to make sure is when you're engaging the pins in the bottom of the RayMet sensor that you line up the key that's there, but then read this label. It says, turn locking ring only. The locking ring is at the bottom. You do not want to twist the whole sensor into the unit. That would bend the pins down here, and then you'll destroy the RayMet sensor, and you won't get any readings whatsoever. So be sure you follow this procedure when you're engaging the RayMet sensor. So again, there's a little key on the bottom. The RayMet sensor goes on this side of the area array. You're going to line up the key on the connector to the key on the hole for the RayMet sensor. You push down, and then you turn the locking ring only. And that will engage the pins as you start to spin that in there. And you'll just spin that down until it's finger tight. That's the proper way to install the RayMet sensor without causing any, any damage to the pins. The other thing you'll need, of course, is the antenna for the long range radio that's inside the area array and that engages on the other side of the handle right here and there's nothing to line up at all you'll just screw that in there until it's snug and of course the new antennas are awesome they've got this nice flexible piece right here that can bend in any direction and not damage the antenna so a much better antenna design in my opinion so you get the one area right here Two, and to save time, I'm not going to engage the RayMet sensors or the antennas on the other units. Here's the third. And the fourth area ray, all in the same Pelican case. So again, I've got additional sensors inside the rapid deployment kit. I've got the additional RayMet sensors here. I've got charging leads for all those things. I also have a Raylink 3 mesh radio inside the kit. I could use this in any three modes that I needed to use it for. I could use it as a Raylink 3 host. I could use it as a repeater if my distance or my structure is hampering my radio signal. Or I could use it as a remote for other Ray Systems portable instruments. So I get my Raylink 3 mesh inside the kit. This is the multi-lead charger here that provides power to all of the instruments and the Raylink 3 when you plug in the wall charger that's located here. You also get a sensor ray for the 4R series sensors. This is a pretty ingenious device. It uh, runs on AA or AAA batteries, I should say, that come with the unit, so four AAA batteries. A quick reference card to show you how to use the sensor ray. And as you can see, there are six sensor positions in here so that you can store additional sensors for your area arrays in the sensor warmer and have them always at the ready. You could calibrate them, put them in the sensor warmer, and they're going to be ready to plug and play at a moment's notice. Uh, there's even a button in here to test your uh, AAA batteries that are in here to make sure you have good power. So this is a nice added feature that they put in the rapid deployment kit. There's the sensor ray. Moving on to the top section, you'll see that there are four zippered pouches here, and in each zippered pouch is a spare rechargeable battery for each area. 
So this is a really nice feature in that each air array already has one rechargeable battery, and here's a second rechargeable battery for each instrument. So eight rechargeable batteries all together in the rapid deployment kit. And the feature that I'm really excited about is that Ray Systems finally came out with an external battery charger. And look at this, you actually get two of them. So you get one for the battery that's on the instrument and you get one for the spare battery. So it actually allows you to charge the spare battery without being on the instrument. So that's great. So you just line up the pins here. You're going to slide this external battery charger into place. And then you'll just plug that into a charging lead and you'll be able to charge this spare battery for your area arrays and have uh, a second rechargeable battery ready to go. So you get four of those. I won't take all of those out of the case, but you do get one for each instrument and you get a external battery charger for every battery that's in the kit, a total of eight. So moving on to the next main compartment, I have a large zippered pouch here for uh, many of the supporting materials that you get with the area array. So let's take a look and see what we get here. So the first thing I see is a uh, computer interface cable for the Raylink 3. This has the cable with the RS-232 ports and the port that would uh, attach to the top of the Raylink 3. So if you were going to use your Raylink 3 as a host, here's the cable that you need to connect to your computer. We have uh, another USB to Type A USB. This is the cable you would use to communicate the area array with a computer if you were doing maintenance or doing a reconfiguration through the software that comes with the uh, instruments. Uh, you also get a spare, what they call a spider charger. They call it a spider charger because it's got five different leads coming off of it. So you can plug this in one time and have five leads. This would be to set up a charging system for your uh, spare rechargeable batteries. So you get another uh, charging lead there. And then you've got uh, several discs that come with this set. You get the Area Ray Plus, Area Ray Pro disc. You get the Raylink 3 Mesh disc. You get the ProRay Studio 2 disc. Again, this is the software program for doing maintenance on your equipment, uh, whether you want to download data files or reconfigure instruments through software on your computer. You get the calibration tube for pumped type instruments. This would be for use with a preset flow rate regulator. Honestly, I prefer the demand flow regulators. If you're using demand flow regulators, then you don't need this at all. Uh, you get a quick reference guide for the Raylink 3. You get a laminated card showing you everything that comes in the rapid deployment kit. That's front and back, so you see all the little accessories that come with the kit. You also get a Area Ray Pro and Area Ray Plus rapid deployment sheet that's laminated. This shows you how to deploy the instruments, including attaching the Raymet sensor, being careful to only turn the locking ring like I showed you. It shows you how to turn the unit on and then get the communication mode set up. It's also got some battery information on the back, so a really good quick reference card here. And then uh, anytime you get uh, gas detection instruments from Ray Systems, you get the calibration certificate. So a calibration certificate for all four meters that came in the rapid deployment kit. Also very important in this top pocket is your ProRay Guardian license, your software license. So when you're using ProRay Guardian, of course you need a license for each instrument that you want to uh, have show up on your computer screen through ProRay Guardian. So you get the four tier three licenses with the rapid deployment kit. So if you are going to add the new area arrays to an existing wireless system, you'll need these four tier three license codes. And I would highly recommend to download License Manager from ProRayGuardian.com. That will allow you to move your license codes from computer to computer based on the setup that you need for the response that you're on at the time. So you get your license codes in the rapid deployment kit. Moving down to the bottom pocket, I have my three additional antennas for the other three area arrays that I did not install. I'm just doing that for quick, uh, short video time. I also have an antenna assembly for my Raylink 3 mesh. Again, if I were going to use that Raylink 3 mesh as a host, I have my magnetic mount 25-foot cable antenna set up so that I can elevate 
my antenna as high as I can get it. As you know, anytime you're operating radios, uh, the higher the antenna, the better the communication. And so I would highly recommend uh, putting this on the top of a command vehicle or on top of your incident command trailer, and that will give you a better signal the higher that you can get the antenna. Especially useful in venue protection when you have a lot of radio traffic anyway. You want to elevate the antenna as high as you can. This uh, 25 foot magnetic mount base helps you do that. So that comes in the rapid deployment kit. Uh, the next thing down in the bottom of the kit, oh, you have the antenna for the Raylink 3. So we'll put that right where that goes, right there. And then one last bag of goodies here with the rapid deployment kit. Let me go through these real quick. Looks like you have a couple of tools in here. You've got a uh, PID opening tool. Uh, there's a brand new PID in the Area Ray Plus and the Area Ray Pro. It's called the 7R PID. And of course, there's a brand new tool and uh, lamp extractor that come for the 7R PID. So you get those tools with this particular setup. Uh, when you do take that apart, you'll have a lamp cleaning kit if you needed to manually clean the lamp. Uh, Ray Systems actually added a self cleaning feature to the uh, PID type instrument. So when the meter's off and on charge, the lamp will illuminate, which creates an ozone gas, and that provides a uh, scrubbing feature for the lamp to keep it clean. But if you get into really sticky gas and you've got a coating on the lamp, you'll have to manually clean it with the uh, isopropyl, isopropanol that's in this lamp cleaning kit. You've got the finger cuts, the Q-tips, and some lens tissue here in the cleaning kit. Also, of course, you've got some tools in here, a flathead, a Phillips head. Uh, you've got a bag of spare screws for the batteries uh, for the back of the area array. Uh, you've also got some spare filters in here. And then I was really surprised to see this, but I have um, four extra PID sensors. So the PID is a combination of the lamp, of course, but also this sensor. This is actually where that detects the gas. And, they put four spare sensors, uh, one for each area ray in the kit. So it's nice that we have that as well. So this is it. This are the contents of the rapid deployment kit from uh, Ray Systems by Honeywell. Uh, we are a distributor for Ray Systems. We have been for a very long time. And so we look forward to earning your business. Again, my name's Steve Hayes. I'm with All Safe Industries. And this has been the rapid deployment kit by Ray Systems by Honeywell. Thank you.